Hey guys, is this the largest kite today or what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this one is out early. It's probably the largest kite out today. Chinese Easter kite flying show. Oh, this is my, this is my, this is my day. I'm ready to take it on, come what may. Take a look at this, guys. It's Easter Sunday on Regent Street. And the stores are open. All right, it's like business as usual. It's business as usual on Easter Sunday. And the stores are open. And the sidewalk is occupied with shoppers and kites. So. This is Alexander Street. Alexander Street. On Easter Sunday. And it's about what? Noon? It's about noon on Easter Sunday. And see the stores are open. People are, people are selling items on the sidewalk. Shoppers. Hey, look at these kites. Yeah. Morning. So it's Easter Sunday on Regent Street. Business is booming. This is a major change. Morning. This is a major change from Georgetown 20 or 30 years ago when no business, absolutely no business was done on weekends. These are Venezuelans doing their shopping and selling. And these are just All the kites. So this is Regent Street. This is the City Place Mall. So the mall itself is closed, but they're shopping. See, there's all this shopping going on. On, on Easter Sunday, this is Camp Street. And that's an array of kites. On Easter Sunday. So this is major a major change in commerce. Where everything would normally shut down on Friday. <laughs> Everybody, 
Cummings Lodge. This is Cummings Lodge on the east coast. And it's still quite early. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Morning. I use a uh, rope tail, I don't use cloth tail. Okay. The rope tail tends to be heavier, so it behaves a little differently. That's a young kite flyer. I used to be just like him at one point, seven, eight, nine, ten years old. I had to fly a kite months before Easter. So by the time Easter comes around, I would have perfected the craft. Okay, keeping up the tradition. This looks like a two foot kite. Everybody seems to be using a rope for the tail these days. A large two feet. Two and a half feet, oh, two and a half. It's a nice two and a half feet kite. So, when I was a kid, we used strips of cloth for the tail, but it seems everybody now uses a small gauge rope for the tail. It does very well. So this is Turkine. High flyers have not yet come out. But the, the drink stalls are beginning to be set up. Refreshment stalls are going to be out in full force. for the day, including Kitty Entertainment, trampoline going up here, morning, and there's going to be a lot of patrons, just because it's a holiday and everybody comes out either to fly a kite or to watch kite flyers. Time for kids to be introduced to the tradition that is quintessentially Guyanese. This little boy must be about four or five years old. He's already got a kite up in the air. And it's only seven o'clock, seven thirty on Easter Monday. Good job, Maureen. There it is.